Hi everybody. I'm using a, a clay by Chavant, non-sulfur uh, plastiline clay, uh, soft and uh, from Chavant. Uh, it's uh, sold through uh, Sculpture Depot on online, and uh, they've got different kind of clays. They've got uh, a HM uh, clay, which is a high melt clay. They've got uh, well, everything that you can possibly imagine as far as clays go. Uh, Chavant's been in business uh, since uh, 1893, I think. Uh, anyway, it was invented, uh, the clay chemi uh, chemical makeup and all that stuff was made, uh, was developed by a French chemist but with the last name of Chavant. And uh, it's, just a, it's a, just a great clay. And what I'm doing is cutting it up into manageable pieces that are easy to uh, uh, work with. It's a little cold right now because uh, it gets cold here in Montana where I live and it's getting ready to storm outside. And so I'm going to put a light above this clay, just a 100 watt bulb. And, and I don't know if you'd need a 100 watt, but uh, that's what I have. And I use it to uh, keep the clay nice and soft and pliable for my uh, arthritic hands. <laughs> well, at least for this thumb. This thumb really starts hurting when I start putting a lot of pressure on it. This is soft enough that I can cut it without heating up the clay first. But this is what I do whenever I get ready to start a sculpture. I get myself all prepared with all my clay that I need. I'm using a uh, utensil tray that you put into a, uh, a silverware drawer for knives or whatever. But it's it's big and long and plenty big enough to hold a lot of this clay and keep it from you know getting messing up your table. So and that's what I put it into. I don't know what, oh, it's my stupid, couldn't figure out what was making all that noise, that rattling noise, it was my ruler. Anyway, so this is how I prepare my clay. Normally I would have a light with a 100 watt bulb above it to keep the clay soft, uh, but it doesn't seem to need that right now. But I think I might use it anyway, only because when winter comes along and it's getting close, it's uh, going to get cold in the house. It might make the uh, soft clay not so soft. I probably don't need uh, this light, but uh, I'm going to keep it oh, probably eight, nine inches above the clay just to keep it soft. Um, if I need it soft, softer, I can always drop the uh, light down even lower. I'm using a 100 watt bulb. They're very hard to find. I bought uh, a huge bunch uh, throughout the year before they outlawed it. And uh, so I've got tons of uh, 100 watt bulbs sitting in my studio. For the next 10 years I'm sure I've got enough to last me until I die or stop sculpting. I mean, I am going to be 70 years old next month, <laughs> so I'm getting up there and a little long in the tooth. All right, I'm going to open this other this new package and continue cutting up my clay, and I hope you guys have a great evening.